Anything that you need, that you desire, can come to you. Any solution to any problem, because everything is already inside of you. We are getting guided by higher selves, by our intuition, by our super conscious, super ego mind. And uh, people, unfortunately, not often see these things. Hey, this is Mike Sigula from TrueFury.com and welcome to another video. So on this channel, I typically talk about either how the system works. So this is like, let's say one category of content then I like to talk about personal development. This is kind of a different. And then we have this series called True Spirituality. And this video is another episode of True Spirituality, 50 something already. So if you are completely new here and you like topics such as meditation, spirituality, metaphysics, consciousness, mysticism, esoteric concepts, teachings and ideas. Have a look at other episodes as well. So I'm mentioning that because, you know, some people might resonate with metaphysics and spirituality and mysticism, but might not necessarily resonate with maybe other type of content I create and vice versa. Some of these people that watch my stuff about how the system works, like the matrix videos and things like that, might not resonate exactly with this type of content. So just want to let people know that I create different type of content. If all the content resonates with you, that's great. And I can understand that some people might not resonate maybe with spirituality, but might resonate with other type of videos. So quick disclosure here, just to start with, you know, if you are getting confused why I'm talking about these types of topics. So today it's a mixture of personal development, and some spiritual laws and principles that guide the process. This is what we're going to talk about. So all the answers are within us already. Super powerful concept. <laughs> Sounds maybe crazy, I don't know, but the more I live my life and I've been learning the path, how to use this principle in my life, the more I can clearly see that it works and I also teach others I'm, I'm doing coaching one-on-one -on -one. it works for other people often as well if they, they do the right stuff so I think I need to just share this message more and more what do I mean by that <laughs> that all the answers are within anything that you need that you desire can come to you any solution to any problem I don't know you have some health issue. Let's pick an example. Let's say you have some kind of uh, psoriasis, skin condition. What do you do? You go to conventional doctor, perhaps you know, some dermatologist. They're going to prescribe you maybe some creams, whatever. They're going to tell you that this could be genetic. This could be psychosomatic, maybe some, some way how you use, deal with stress. They're going to come up with some kind of explanation, conventional, what they understand so far, and they're going to prescribe you some treatment, maybe some kind of cream or something, or maybe some pills or whatever, maybe some kind of other type of uh, treatment that not going to fix the root cause, but it just might make it more manageable like a cream not gonna fix the root cause it's just gonna make the skin look better and you know you want to fix your problem you did what the society would normally tell you to do go to a doctor and you the doctor didn't fix your problem right it's still there it might get a little bit better but that's it so this is what i'm saying here that all the answers are within you already and you can manifest solution to your problem. You can bring solution to your problem because everything is already inside of you. We are getting guided by higher selves, by our intuition, by our super conscious, super ego mind. And uh, people unfortunately not often see these things. So what do you do instead? In order to manifest solution 
to your problem, we're talking about an example here of psoriasis, let's say, and you tried the conventional treatment, doesn't work, doesn't do anything, you start looking for answers, right? The more you put your intentions into trying to find solution to your problem, the more you start doing something about it. So maybe, I don't know, researching that, trying to research that online, look for alternative treatments, read a book about it, watch some videos, ask different types of experts. This is where you start looking for a solution by actively participating and doing something about it. And you have your intentions set up to solve the problem, right? These two things, right? The path starts opening for you to find solution to your problem. And sometimes the solution might come overnight. Sometimes it might take two years. <laughs> Everyone is different, different circumstances, different scenarios, but it's important to remember that the answer will come sooner or later will come if you will stay dedicated towards finding that solution. So here I'm mentioning a couple of things. Divine timing, which is a concept, basically what it means is sometimes for things to manifest or for something to start working, there has to be right conditions. And the conditions maybe not gonna be tomorrow or maybe gonna be in six months or maybe gonna be one year or two years. So maybe the solution not gonna come tomorrow because solution is more complicated and requires specific conditions to appear so the solution can get manifested that's why patience is important you know same way like you're not gonna plants gonna flourish in spring or something whatever in winter the leaves fall apart right the conditions aren't good in winter and are good in spring or something same with is with anything else you know let's say you want to get into a right relationship with the perfect partner but if your current conditions would not allow that because maybe you are having some super stressful job maybe you are completely out of money you wouldn't even have money for dating whatever it is this wouldn't be a good time right it wouldn't work probably because there would be all, all sorts of circumstances preventing that relationship from fall, forming, right? But maybe in six months from now, one year from now, there will be conditions that will allow that to happen. So often the solutions, these things start coming when there are the right conditions for it. This is important to remember. Not everything is just gonna work like that tomorrow. Sometimes you need some patience and things start happening when the right conditions are present, right? So coming back to this uh, example of someone who wants to solve the issue with psoriasis, you know, you start doing something about it. You went to a doctor, then help, start doing research, start, you know, looking for maybe alternative treatments, whatever. And at some point, the solutions start coming. This is like a real case study. So I've had this kind of issues a uh, little bit, not like crazy, but, but it was in the same, same kind of path unfolded. So, you know, doctors just give you some crappy treatments and don't do anything. Then I'm hearing from like different people, alternatives, they say, oh, this has to do with the gut, you know, bacteria. Hmm. And I didn't know anything about it. Then, then another person tells me same thing one year later, a few months later. So I'm starting to pay attention because I, you know, decided that I want to have this challenge healed or fixed. And I started doing work about it. I put my intention, started doing something about it. And it keeps coming one way, the other. But because I don't understand what's the solution, I don't know much about these things. I might not be able to see them. There's another issue that so many people repeat is that, you know, the answers are already here. They keep coming. The solutions are coming. If you start doing something about it, you start putting effort into it. But sometimes people miss opportunities and miss the solution because 
they don't see them, they are programmed, you know, the guy is programmed that alternative treatments are BS, for example, only gonna listen to a guy who is a medical doctor, and maybe the medical doctor here is wrong, and the alternatives are right, and if person is programmed, then they're not gonna see the solution that keeps popping, and this was popping, like, oh, someone said, mentioned that leaky gut, the second person mentioned the same thing, after some time, then I started thinking about, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I'm having stomach problems of, um, you know, I used to party a lot when I was younger, I used to drink a lot of Red Bulls, things like that. That's what it did. It could impact the microbiome in the gut, which then results, for example, in uh, some skin condition. Finally, like, you know, I'm meeting someone who is a nutritionist, we become friends, like really experienced 20 years and she explains me everything I need to do to heal that exactly what's the problem exactly how to change my diet blah, blah, blah. so I've been already getting guidance for a while you know the solution is inside of me already it comes when I need it but I didn't see it initially it had to you know get through my programming right because the programs are strong and Finally, another time that someone mentioned the same thing, I started understanding and seeing the pattern here. So, so this is an example. You want to solve your problem, whatever it is that you have. Another thing I want to say here is also it's important what kind of emotion you have, what kind of energy you put when you try to find whatever you're trying to find, solution to your challenge or you attract something, whatever. So if you are approaching it with enthusiasm, you know, think about the vibration here. So let's say, I don't know, let's say you are trying to bring a relationship into your life, find a partner, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever. If you're gonna be desperate about it, right? <laughs> This is like a blueprint. This emotion that you have, a desperation, oh, you're just constantly seeking, oh my God, you know, like maybe this one, maybe that one. <laughs> this kind of energy that you have now is imbalanced, is not synchronized. It's like, like this, you know, I want that so badly. Yeah, that's why I'm not in love, blah, blah, blah. You know, this kind of emotion not gonna bring you anything good for sure <laughs> you, you're probably gonna track something but it's gonna be reflected in the emotions you have so you know it's gonna be distorted the relationship might be distorted somehow the person might be unstable some other issue with the person whatever so it's important also to remember that you know the answers are within you they're gonna come everything what you need is already here and if you start putting intention doing something about it it should start manifesting at some point keep in mind it might not come tomorrow it might take some time but also it's important what kind of intention and emotion you have to attract whatever the outcome you want to attract because if the emotion is desperate let's say you know you're needy too much probably you're gonna repel or or it's gonna attract something that's gonna be also distorted so another thing here to remember it's how you approach these things the solution you're trying to find are you desperate about it or you're just approaching it with just being normal about it open and things like that so that's another thing to keep in mind another thing is that the solutions are coming but synchronicities will start appearing but people often don't see the synchronicities. This is the big, big, big problem. Why? Because, you know, people have programs. They are thinking in specific ways based on the conditioning they've had throughout their lives. And sometimes the solution will appear in the form that is not so obvious straight away. Another really important thing is to start being more open-minded and start looking at how things unfold for you. So let me just give you another real example here. So someone in my family, let's say, wanted to learn programming, right? 
Everything is already within you. All the answers can come to you, all the solutions can come to you if you want them, but you need to pay attention, right? So this person first, you know, didn't know where to start, how to start, things like that. Someone else introduced him to a guy who runs software company and he spent a little bit of time with him explaining him different options here you know he can be like front-end back-end ux whatever you know graphic designer different types of fields that maybe he gonna have preference towards this field or that field so first good step right he attracted someone who gives him some general thoughts on how to start but this guy gave him some specifics you know like this big book about algorithms which doesn't sound good to start with you know especially that he works full time so he doesn't even have time to read like heavy books like that which is going to take months to understand so you know discouraged right and he's already getting fixated you know the, the guy gave him some specific languages that probably going to be useful for him to learn it turned out too complex you know i would have to learn on my own months and months i work full time i don't have time my i just have like a little bit of time in the evenings after work or weekends to learn blah blah, blah. too complex as well okay but the desire is still there so what happens the next situation comes different that someone else needed a website very simple one like some some simple website done in wordpress so not complex programming but just a simple website and he you know he decided let's do a website for that person it's going to be easier to learn because i'm going to have a project to work on and it's the simplest method to start making websites maybe it's a good fundamentals and first steps so you know opportunity came right you have a goal the things start coming to you but now you need to tweak it a little bit because you know it doesn't fit like the first guy gave him things that were too much too complicated wouldn't work in the current situation when he's like working full time doesn't have time to learn these complex books so something easier came first so working on the website still turned out to be a little bit complicated and learning on his own wasn't so easy for him so he started thinking okay i really need someone to explain things to me because if, if i'm gonna try to figure everything out myself it's gonna take me months so a few days came and uh, the solution came again you know so i connected this person from my family i'm talking about with a guy who's programming for years he wants to teach him for free so everything that you need everything that you need can come to you <laughs> if you want to if you start doing something about it you start taking steps because it's really important you kind of build up this whole attraction pattern that solution will come once you start doing something about it once you start putting your intentions and taking steps and finally you know there's not gonna work something else gonna come in this way but it will come sooner or later the solution will come so this is what i'm saying everything is already within us we have power to do anything we want get anything we, we want have any solution to any problem we have we just need to desire these things and start doing things about them and be open to whatever comes because the answers might not be very obvious so there is a very important thing here that i forgot to mention what i'm saying everything is within us and the answers can come but often people have superficial desires and goals that come from ego or from some programming and you know you're gonna think yeah i'm gonna listen to this guy i'm gonna want something desire something work towards it and uh, it's not gonna work very well for this person so what i'm talking about here is when your goals are not coming from you you read some magazines about tech billionaires and you're gonna think yeah i'm gonna be a tech billionaire i'm gonna start a startup yeah because this is cool this is what the society thinks is cool now so yeah i want to be cool i'm gonna try to do that but maybe you are completely not there like you have completely different set of skills different gifts in your life you can't handle massive amounts of stress which is required and many other things that you don't have or you wouldn't wouldn't want to do to get to that goal and uh, the goal would be 
thousand times harder than you think or ten thousand times harder than you think because it seems maybe easy from the outside but once you get into details it's many many times harder than you thought so you wouldn't be even able to do it so you know this is what i'm saying also whatever you need can come but is it really what you need is it really what you want where are your intentions coming from are they coming from you when i'm talking about healing something inside of my, me that's a different thing right when i'm talking about superficial goals that come from programs in society watch out for these because you can get on this path if you're gonna start wanting these things and intending but it's not gonna work anyway for you it's gonna turn out against you you're gonna end up hundred times harder than you thought or thousand times harder whatever and it's not gonna be fun for sure so another thing to keep in mind here is what I need what I want what I desire is it really good for me so finally I, I want to also say here that we have to rely on intuition more in this whole process because you know we get programmed all the time with false programming and we ignore the signals red flags or we just miss synchronicities as well so this is why it's important to start tuning into our intuition more and more this is a big problem for many people because this whole system here, the whole society is just completely unethical on every level. And, and it's often like something doesn't seem right and people are still gonna do it because everyone else is doing. <laughs> and that's just normalized and accepted. So these are big problems as well. Another issue here is, for example, you know, we might ignore red flags about something because of the programs, right? So let's say, I don't know, start dating someone and he just like their physical appearance but there are some other red flags that start showing some behaviors maybe that are very toxic but you're just still gonna brush it off because i don't know you you just like blindfolded yourself and you you think this person is just so great so amazing blah blah blah, blah. so this is an example of when we start ignoring the signals intuition and we get carried away by other programs right or whatever like some kind of business practice where people start cutting corners because they want to make money faster or more and they know this is maybe a little bit unethical but this everyone else seems to be doing it it's easy why not you know and then they start doing it it's short term works long term doesn't work and creates a lot of negative consequences so important also when we are talking about this path that everything can come to us whatever it is that we need will come it's important to remember that we are having all sorts of programs here that are harmful that are trying to get us from the true path to not ignore red flags signals or to notice synchronicities because it works in this way as well where people just miss opportunities i see it a lot i see people who have some massive health problem or some kind of pattern toxic pattern that is causing a lot of challenges in their lives and they look for answers and the answers are coming all the time <laughs> they're gonna meet the right person who knows what's the problem exactly but because they're programmed and conditioned, for example, in thinking very conventionally, <laughs> they are not able to see the solutions. And sometimes it's insane. I've seen people who would literally have a problem that would keep manifesting for years, even decade or more, and the solutions would be coming to them and they would not look like solutions maybe from their perspective, but they were there and they were not able to see that because of like totally being completely programmed hypnotized by the system and not seeing that the solution is a completely different answer so yeah just want to say that this is the the idea here that literally whatever is that you need whatever is that you desire it really can come but the way it might come might not be so simple might not just come tomorrow sometimes it takes time sometimes the universe will create a path for you so you you need to you know see this is the path 
you need to understand when the synchronicity starts happening to direct you towards this path, things like that. Ignore programs as well, because programs try to get us away from the solutions and also not allow false programs to create goals for you because you know people decide oh okay i can get anyone anything i want yeah i want this and then you start going this path and it's not what you thought so i'm talking more about things that are good for us you know finding solutions to a problem things like that so that's it listen if you are want to explore this concept further i'm doing coaching one-on-one -on -one. this is um, i have a whole system that can help people to unfold synchronicities and get solutions to their challenges so if you are interested send me an email it's coaching at truefury.com and uh, yeah let's chat and thanks for watching another episode of true spirituality if this video resonates please give it a like share it if you can <laughs> And till next time.